Competency-based education is not a new um, phenomenon. It's something that has been launched in many fields. Competency-based medical education is really focused on direct observation, deliberate observation, uh, frequent assessments, feedback, constructive feedback, coaching, role modeling, um, and documenting all of those aspects. Really, CBME is not something new. Family Medicine had already launched CBME. Now the other uh, programs across PGME have, are launching. It's really something that exists already. We're just here to revamp and improve CBD, Competence by Design uh, for the Royal College programs, really is a framework that, that has allowed us to, to embark on this. And it's an exciting journey that we would like you know, all faculty and residents and, and uh, patients to be a part of. I think the best advice would be before you're starting your, uh, your program on, on July 1st to read through the global timeline of which EPAs fit in where. You're doing a certain rotation only once and that's your first month of residency. You don't want to find out in September, October that you missed a lot of chances to fill them out. So to just get familiar with what types of EPAs should be filled out when in the global scheme of things I think would be a good way to prepare. As early as possible they should be involved in seeing the EPAs, seeing the assessment forms. I, I think that most uh, of my colleagues uh, want needed to have something physically in front of them to look at, to read and to try it. We did have a, a trial period over three or four months and I think people saw that, oh, this doesn't take really much time. The best advice is like, try to have a very solid mapping of EPAs. I have a very good program director with a very good uh, CBME leader that are very strong and we, they map more than me the, the EPA so to know exactly where are we going. So that is something very important on the, for the program. As a program director in CBD, I think the biggest recommendation I can give is to build a good team around CBME implementation. That includes uh, the program director himself or herself really understanding and being very well knowledge on the situation and on, on the topic, attending all the Royal College meetings, uh, being engaged in the discussion at the um, postgraduate level, and very importantly is the, your CBME lead and your competency committee chair. The last piece of advice would be communication with your staff, with fellow department, departmental members is very important for CBME rollout. My advice for other CBME leads is to really look at faculty development within and outside of your department early on and to identify that people have different knowledge and capabilities of how to handle all the off-service residents who will come on to their service. But I think there's just needs a lot of faculty development uh, and I think that would be the key, the key to everything is faculty development. I guess the advice I would give the residents is uh, to ask more questions and not to be shy about asking questions because it's, it's really at the starting point. So um, asking questions really help. The thing I would say is that always try to get the feedback. Even if it's a minor task or a task that you did not succeed or even if it's a task that you succeed in achieving. Always try to get the feedback just to become better next time. My role at McGill University is as Assistant Dean of Postgraduate Medical Education as well as uh, the National CBME Lead for McGill University. In that role, I'm involved in uh, curriculum development, uh, revamping the assessment program and uh, program evaluation for all of postgraduate medical education at McGill. And my role as national CBME lead is to prepare the launch and implementation of CBME at McGill for all the programs, as well as serve on the committee, the national committee of CBME leads, um, where all 17 universities uh, have a representative at the table. And together as a nation, we're coming to, um, to develop uh, shared ideas and shared programs to help the launch across the country. Uh, working closely with the Royal College as well as with uh, program directors and specialty committees across the country.
Launching CBME for all of these programs has been an exciting adventure. There have been challenges, but mostly we've uh, met those challenges and embarked on this um, journey together. It has definitely been a team approach. We'd like to thank um, our Dean, our Associate Dean in Postgraduate Medical Education, our PGME um, Educational Enhancement Team, as well as, of course, everyone on the ground, um, the program directors, the CBME leads, the competence committee chairs, all of the faculty, as well as all the residents, of course, um, and the program admins. This is a team effort. We couldn't have done this launch without everyone on board, and uh, we look forward to, um, to many more years of uh, CBME implementation with this wonderful team we have at McGill University.